Thank you, Noah. It's a real pleasure and an honor to be here always. Uh, when I tell people about my company, I say, well, we have a test site in North Las Vegas in Nevada, and we have two offices, one in Los Angeles and one in Dubai. And I have a whole bunch of my teammates back there, engineers, um, marketing, uh, and uh, architects uh, back there. And as the head lawyer, there's a team of, of 10 on my team. So we have 10 lawyers. And what we think about is how we, what kind of legal structures will work for a Hyperloop? Right, so a Hyperloop, for those of you who do not know, is envisioned to be a super fast transportation network with uh, no friction due to magnetic levitation, no air pressure due to a vacuum tube, and that can whisk you 1,000 kilometers per, per hour uh, between, you know, between two airports, between two cities, and it, there's nothing like it. It's not an airplane, it's not a train, it is a new thing. And so what my legal team, how I recruited such great lawyers to come work for me, is this is new and exciting and different, and there are no answers and we'll be able to, to solve a lot of the problems. But of course we can't tell that to our investors, they don't want to hear that. We can't tell that to, uh, to, to, uh, to our partners. Right? We have partners all over the world. Right? One investor is SNCF, the French rail company. Another investor, our biggest investor, is DP World right here in Dubai. And they want to know, they want certainty. They want to know how are you going to deal with the challenges uh, that face you. And one of the questions we have is how to deal with foreign law. And every country has its own legal <coughs> system. And in some countries, the laws aren't, aren't even written down. In other countries, it's written down, but they don't totally follow it. And in some countries, in a lot of countries, they don't have precedent. Right? What we're used to, and what our investors are used to, is a common law judicial system. What we favor is certainty, so you know what the law is, fairness, so that it's a law that you can, you can wrap your head around and understand that people will be treated well. Uh, speed, right? quickness, uh, um, cost, low cost, and the ability to enforce a judgment uh, when you get one. That's, these are all issues you might have around the world that our investors, my CEO, they all ask me about and they care about. Me. And for those of you who've gone to law school, there's often a discussion about something called forum shopping, which is where Lawyers will try to sue in one court or another in order to get the most advantageous law for them. It's called forum shopping, and judges try to stop it, and you're taught in law school as though it's a bad thing. But when you're a lawyer and you have a client, it is your fiduciary obligation to forum shop. It's your duty to find the best place in the world to have your case, to have your case heard, to settle disputes. And so it's my duty, and the duty of all the lawyers on my team, to figure out where can we go to provide certainty and make sure that we can actually bring this thing to life. And to have something like the Courts of the Future Initiative, and, I, and I've, I've talked to people like Mark, and, and the kind of thinking and intelligence that has gone into what you're doing, you know, it ticks all the boxes. And I can give you a very concrete example. But I had to, you know, we have to answer the question of where do we house our IP? So if you're an American company, for tax reasons, you would tax your, your local IP in the US, and you'd have another subsidiary where you hold the rest of your global IP. Often, it, your intellectual property, your patents. And we have 12 patents already. We're essentially a company of inventors. You know, we have 100 engineers. Uh, you know, I can go through, you know, my, my chief engineer uh, was a co-founder of Tesla, invented the battery of the Tesla. Right? Our, our CTO you know, helped, him, helped, him, helped design the first rocket for, uh, for SpaceX. Uh, it's the, my, um, my head of hardware was the chief engineer for the Google car. So these guys are just inventing things. And, and that's the lifeblood of our company. And we have to figure out where can we house it to protect it in a way that, that our employees and our investors all respect. And so, of course, we hired an accounting firm, Ernst and Young, and they did an analysis, and we hired a law firm, Lessons and Senior, and they analyzed where in the world should we put our IP. And at the top of the list, uh, you know, the usual countries, you know, the Netherlands, England, Ireland, these kind of countries that people usually look to, but also the top of the list uh, was Dubai, right? And so, our SVP of finance was like, that doesn't look right to me. And, and I had to explain it to him. And with initiatives like, like this one, right? And with these kinds of courts where you can explain, you know, there are courts in English, there are courts that allow you, that are based on American and English law, you can, you can sort of get the internal buy-in. And, and it's simple to explain, right? You don't have to show them any laws, you don't have to show them a framework. You can just explain 
the actual process has been put in place. You can get people comfortable with it. And, and so I think it's a huge advantage. I think it's something every general counsel thinks about. Uh, I think so probably the same way I do. And it's something that, uh, that, that, we, that we're sort of born knowing, even if we've never had any dispute, that it really matters that, that to avoid disputes even, to have the right kind of choice of law in every contract you write. So, so you know, my, my, uh, my colleagues back there, right, I've written contracts for, for the marketing team, I've written contracts with, with the architecture team, and each one of them, we specify where will they be handled, and, uh, and that's why this, this matters in every single decision you make. So thank you very much for your visionary, uh, for, for, for your visionary work for actually putting this into practice and for the deep thought you put into it and for having me speak to you guys. Thank you very much.